Hi everybody, back again. It's been a minute, but figured we'd uh, do a new video. I uh, got some cool stuff in uh, this week and uh, lots of stuff to rip open. You can see in the background here are my buds, the GPK boys, and they are talking to a Mr. Mark Pingator. And that's where all of our goodies came from. Uh, it was a while back, but I ordered uh, a bunch of sets and boxes from Mark. And we we're waiting on Trashformers to finally release, which is his spoof on Transformers. And uh, so everything was contingent on that releasing, which it finally did. But I picked up some old sets that I haven't uh, had a chance to grab yet. So we got Marvelous. And these are full sets, and they come in little, looks like a little mini wax box kind of thing. They're pretty cool. We got Slop Culture. I made a mistake and didn't pick up a box of this when uh, Mark had it at the show that you're seeing this video from. Uh, and finally got one, but this just kind of does all kinds of pop culture stuff, from horror to movies to fads, what have you. It's all kind of in there. Uh got the G.I. Jokes, which is obviously a G.I. Joe spoof. And I was a big G.I. Joe kid, so that was a must-grab. And then Ode to Video Games here in Nintendo's. Yeah, it was a really cool set. I have a few cards I got signed by Mark at the show. But if you don't know, Mark is a former Topps GPK artist. Not just a sketch artist. He did final cards for the sets, so kind of a big deal. He decided to strike it out on its own and uh, really started with the horror theme stuff, which is what we're going to be opening today. But this came in here, a little promo card. Some horrible kids. And then I also got Trash Farmer's box. Whoops. Came with a cool little sticker. There we go. So it's the second and first series in it. The first series would have been the vinyl cards that he did a long time ago, but he's updated and put a bunch more new ones in there. And that came with the printing plate, which is in this guy. Obviously that sticker. And we're going to do that. Um, let me see some of Mark's work. I got one of those on my shelf. Uh, but we're going to go with... The horrible kids. We're gonna open up this one. This one did not come with the printing plate. I wasn't fast enough to get one of those, but I have all the other sets. So I, I could have picked up that little mini box set, but I wanted to rip something open. So, and uh, all the other sets I bought are quite expensive to get boxes now. So I just realized my pen is gone, my Exacto is gone. So we're gonna have to get messy opening this up. Let's see what we can do here. Let's do it the hard way. Hope you guys are doing good. Like I said, I know it's been a little while. A few weeks since I put the VSQ one. Okay, this does come with a neat little poster. Good nod to old GPK. It's a spoof of Michael Myers from the Halloween reboot. What was that, 2018 now? I know they've made two others in that franchise, but I've only watched the first one because I heard uh, unflattering reviews of the other ones. I'll probably get around to watching it eventually. So we have 24 packs, there's five stickers, and two foils, which I think is pretty cool. I like that Mark went with the, the foil approach over the, you know, just kind of, here's a green border, here's a red border. As much as I like making rainbows, I think these are a cooler idea. So a lot of packs. We're going to open all these bad boys, see some of our horror favorites. As you know, I'm a Freddy guy. Also like me some Jason, Pinhead. So we'll see what comes from within all right never opened any of mark's packs so don't know okay we're gonna try to use the no that ain't working either huh wish i had a pair of scissors nearby i might have to go grab some uh-oh 
I found a way. Split that right there. All right. Not the fastest, but we'll get through it. If you haven't watched this video I got going on in the background, check out the GPK boys. Got a lot of good content. And uh, this was at Ghost Card Con last November. And uh, they did live streams. And uh, if we take long enough, you'll see me on there. So we got Overbrook. There's a Shining reference. The hot girl that turned into the really disgusting lady. Mad Matthew. Pat and Corey, and there's a Corey Feldman reference from uh, Lost Boys. And if you, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, there you go. Mark does die cut his cards, so they're very much like the old school GPK. He has, uh, let's see, he's got puzzles. So far, all puzzles, but he also has got little comics and stuff like that. Cabrini Fever. Saying Zane. Get him up a little closer for y'all to see. All right. Gene Ribbon. These walls are cool looking. They're almost like super refractors. Obviously not as rare, but Jet Glenobite. That's a good Hellraiser, Hellraiser uh Cinnabite reference. We'll keep the foils separate. There are also chances, I believe, of autos and sketches and all that good stuff in here, too. So we'll see what we get. Honestly, I just, you know, anything else is gravy over a base set. So we'll see what we get. It would be cool to put a foil set together, but I know those are kind of difficult. But you're only getting... Uh, 48 foils per box. I mean, that's a good number, but when there's 90 cards in the set, you know, halfway there if you don't get any dupes. All right, Grumpy Gabe. Dangerous Danielle. That reminds me of Halloween with Michael Myers being a kid. Nurse Cersei. Or Bill, maybe another Hellraiser reference. Demonica, <laughs> good name. Stunt Mike, I believe that's going to be from Death Proof. Tarantino and Lance Lance, that would be from Alien. I mean, you get to see some cool vinyl art that uh, Mark had for sale at the show. I didn't have vinyl art money, but I did, uh, as noted, pick up the Robert England autograph for Freddy. Not cheap, but as a Freddy fan, that was kind of something I needed in the collection. But one day I'll get to meet the man himself and get something autographed. I know he is not deep to get autographs from. This pack don't want to give me the goods. Okay. Charge Charles. Adam's family reference. Stranger. Man Hunter. Demon Knight. I don't know if that's a Demon Knight reference? Oh, one would think so. Rip Robert, there we go. Freddy card number one. If y'all know me, you know I'm Robert, so. Pretty cool that a ton of the cards get Robert on there because of uh, Robert England. And let's go on to the foils. Crop Steve. And James Flame, our guy on the box. And the poster and all that goodness.
you guys horror fans. I hope so. With fun escapes. Uh, you know, they're not genuinely stuff that are, you know, win awards and be considered crazy good uh, cinema, but it's fun. And I like that uh, they can take light of themselves and, you know, make fun of themselves and not be too serious about it. You've watched Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the 13th, you know. Old Man Gary, Gary Oldman. Vlad the Impaler. Tooth Jerry. And they do say you should get a set from every box, so let's hope that's the case. D Mentor. Jeff Proof and the Non Foil. Stuff Stefano. Our foils. There we go. Super Fred. Perfect. Those will go up in the Freddy collection. Right to Kathy, when she's a nightmare. Before Christmas reference. I haven't looked to see. A lot of puzzles. I guess he went all puzzles on this one because I've not seen any comic references. Looks like, yep, that's a puzzle kind of set. I know a lot of y'all like that, so. You should be happy. And uh, this is Series 7. Series 6, actually. Is, I mean, sorry, Series 8 is actually up for pre-order, so. You want to. Eh. Just not help him. Check out... Uh, Magic Marker Art is where he, what he goes by. And uh, it's a place called Store Envy. And you just check him out on there. Got lots of cool stuff. Stickers, skateboards, shirts, you know, pencil roughs, final art. Sweet autographs because he'll get the stars that played these guys to sign them. Hence my Robert England one. Ghostly, I know a lot of people love this. Uh, popular character in GPK and the set too. Dangerous Danielle. Joking Jack. Jack Nicholson is the Joker. Von Landon. That would be a Sentinel from the X Men. Jam Jameson. There's the other half of the Corey Feldman thing. <clears throat> but what I said earlier, and I'm not thinking about Lost Boys. There we go. So. Tooth Jerry. And Bryce Nine Kills. Like Ice Nine Kills. These foils do look real nice. Can't argue. Boy, Nick, being Nick. Test little piggy. You know my love hate relationship with the autofocus camera. Vic, nah. Watch if you watch Stranger Things, you should know that pretty well. It's not, I'm going to have to get the impressionist version of these cards. Silent Spencer. Grabbing Gavin. There's that phone movie that came out. I haven't seen it, but I heard good things. In a dark, dark room. Evil Eddie. Grumpy Gabe. Okay, folks, mission accomplished. We did get a full base set. Went through. Seems good. Got 30 extras just like we should. 
uh, one crazy thing is the foils. Um, out of 48, uh, 10 of them were doubles, and actually two of those were triples. So that's a little disappointing. Um, like I said, I'll have to try to see if I can, you know, trade some folks and, uh, you know, make some make some deals and find them. Uh, I really do want to get that Freddy Robert card. Uh, so if any of you out there collect horrible, horrible kids and uh, have some extra foils from Seven, let me know and we'll swap it up. Uh, I did want to say that it was a fun open. I uh, love the sets. I love that he does so much horror stuff, pop culture, things like that. I think he's on the right track. Um, it's a fun open. Uh, I wouldn't expect any hits. I didn't get anything other than the foils and base cards. Uh, honestly, I don't know the different intricacies of which boxes he sells that have what. You know, maybe there's something I didn't know. But like I said, I bought this just to get a base set because it was only a few bucks more than buying a base set. And, uh, you know, got to have fun ripping packs. So glad you guys stuck with me. Uh, thanks for uh, attending. And you should look for that Trash, for trash Farmers box soon because I will be doing that one and doing the same thing as I did with this one. Plus, you get to see a printing plate on that one. Uh, thanks, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye.